Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So, as you can tell by the title and if you've watched a lot of my videos and some past vlogs of mine, I have been talking about kind of doing my room up just a little bit more and kind of making it a little bit more of like a luxurious space for me. I've always changed my mind and moved my room around a lot and I think if you go back to my little like room tour, I filmed that just because so many people were asking like where things were from and like what other bits of my room looked like just because I hadn't done anything like that before. So I took you around what my room was looking like then. Um, my room has gone through many transformations since I've been in this house since the age of eight, I think it was. Um, but recently I have been planning on kind of just changing a lot of like the decor in here so I'm not doing anything like drastic with the walls or the carpet even though my mum does want to change the carpet at some point. Um, I thought I would start this little process of like a bedroom transformation type thing so obviously I don't want to keep making all these changes um, and not kind of film it and show you guys what I've added because this is going to be a more of like a lengthy however many weeks this will take to kind of change it up just because we are still in lockdown at the moment Um, not really sure when it's going to be kind of lifted slightly. Today is Monday the 11th of May. I had a delivery yesterday from Argos of some things that I ordered and I had my Ikea delivery today which is some stuff that I ordered about two weeks ago. I am in the process of choosing my bed. I think I found a bed that I do like and is like within reason. I'm not paying you know extortionate prices for a bed not looking to get a new mattress at the moment that's why i bought something else but i thought i would just start off this kind of intro and the little bits that i've changed so far just to give you the vibe of what i'm going for and then any little thing that maybe i change something new turns up i change my mind on something i'll keep you guys updated and obviously just show you at the time so it's a little bit messy i haven't really tidied like this up because <laughs> this should not be here um but this is what my room looks like currently so nothing has changed over here really apart from i've put some different photos up there and that used to be where that board was and that was over there i don't know what i'm gonna do with this it's just a big nail in the wall so i've hung it there for now at some point i'm gonna take these shelves down because i don't really know why i chose these things anymore i think they look ugly now i need like floating shelves but i don't know whether i want them there so i'm gonna take those down at some point and fill in all the holes i've got a few nails like around the wall and stuff that i want to kind of sort out but yeah so all of this will be a plain wall at some point the one thing that i think i'm going to change next which shouldn't be too hard ignore my coffee and my other camera that still doesn't work because this microphone still makes lots of noise in my room only my room and i don't know what it's from so currently i built this desk i've had it for a few years now this whole desk is from ikea again i did say in my room tour i'm keeping these drawers just because they're really really handy and i have a lot of stuff in them but i kind of thought to myself that I bought this at first because I was still in uni and obviously I want my computer to edit but I don't really keep that much in there, I feel like I just store crap so I don't need this anymore and what I also didn't realise is Ikea do a slightly shorter tabletop so this one is 120 centimetres long um, but they actually do one which is 100 centimetres which I think stops about here um, same kind of width out so obviously it'll fit on the drawers and I could just put these table legs on the new tabletop and maybe sell this kind of tabletop or I don't know give it away to someone who can just put some legs on it but yeah I think I'm going to get the shorter tabletop just so it gives me a bit more space here and then I can move this mirror more central because obviously at the moment it's hello <laughs> it's not got a lot of space but the things that I received the past two days oh it's so creased I have to just show you anyway because who has perfect bedding not me so i have an orthopedic mattress i think which means it's quite firm and i've not really been sleeping well recently 
my back's in agony all the time and my neck hurts i think i sleep in very very awkward positions but i thought that i would try something that might help which is why i googled for a mattress topper so it's like a little squishy foamy thing this is from argos but it's the silent night hotel thing so you can kind of see in the bed where the dips are of it it just makes it that little bit more softer on the top and obviously it does protect your mattress as well because you can pop the top thing in the wash if you need to i then came across some new bedding which said cool cotton and it's the type of material that's not supposed to be like really soft and gets warm and i really really liked this just line material um down the side of it and then it's along this bit of the bed here as well Obviously my bedding is still quite creased just because I don't iron bedding. Then something really exciting are these pillows that turned up today. So these are cushions and cushion covers from Ikea. So they have a zip and these are the cushions inside. I'm not 100% sure what they're made out of but they're very like, I don't know if you can hear. But these weren't that expensive. I think they were like £5 each for the cushions and maybe like seven pound for the covers but the covers are a really nice kind of it's not suede or velvet but it's like a softer material obviously these have marks on again because i only unboxed them like two hours ago from the packaging they were in so i'm gonna see if they kind of wear out if not i'll just pop them in the wash obviously i've said before i'm looking for a new bed this is just like a dark brown leather bed but i need ottoman storage this is just off the floor so the bed that I've been looking at is ottoman storage that will lift up this way and hopefully I can store a lot of stuff under there. But I also want a higher kind of buttoned headboard and I've been looking at um, fabric samples from the luxury bed company and I think that's where I'm going to get my bed from. And then the other thing that I bought from Ikea is this gorgeous lamp. I did think it was going to be a little bit smaller, but this I think was only £15, but it's got one of the pulley chains, which I think, I don't know, I just really, really like the style of that. Um, so it's just got a long cord and I've plugged it into my sockets down there, but I really, really liked the kind of brassy gold um, and the chain pulley light. I think if you saw before, I had like a really crappy little plastic white thing as like a temporary light, which was from Primark. There was like, I don't know, £2. Obviously, this is my chest of drawers from Ikea that I've had for a couple of years. And I do really, really like it. But because I'm trying to make my room a little bit more minimal and less bulky, I've said before, obviously, my bed isn't in the centre because this is too big. So hopefully... I'm going to try and find a chest of drawers that is like thinner to maybe put against the wall here because I feel like I'd, I still do need a little bit of storage and some drawers but I just need something that's kind of like thinner against here so it doesn't come out as far as that. I haven't found anything yet but that means that I can then sell that and um, if you imagine the big headboard kind of move the bed is central to the the wall i see these shelves will be gone and then i'm gonna want to get like a really cute little night bedside table to put that lamp on there as well so that is kind of my plan at the moment the only big changes i've made is just kind of like bedding and the pretty lamp i will update you at some point <laughs> when i make some changes so today is sunday the 31st of may um i can't actually remember when i last filmed for this video um but there's been a couple of little updates which i'm excited about i think when i started this video i told you guys that i've ordered my bed i think but i've ordered my bed it's probably not going to turn up for like another four weeks or so um but i have made a few changes and some things are gonna go I really wish I filmed yesterday because I put together a new chest of drawers um, and I bought a mirror which I really really like but basically excuse a little bit of the mess obviously I'm not like tidying up loads but this is what I've bought at the moment. So I found this one from B&M actually this was £50 um, and I wanted something that had quite a small depth to it so that one i think is about 46 or 49 centimeters away from the wall whereas this one is only 29 
So obviously when I have my new bed and this disappears, my bed is going to have to come over a bit more and I wanted to be able to still have a bit of space to walk between. That just would not have fit against this wall because I don't want it there anymore. My only problem is if you look at the <laughs> size of this drawer compared to the size of these drawers, I mainly kept all of my underwear. I've got shorts, pajamas and stuff at the bottom of there. Um, and I've put like all of my underwear, my bras. Uh, I think I've got like socks and then all my little tank top stuff. Um, <laughs> most of that would have fit in one drawer in here. So it is definitely trying to narrow it all down. The other thing that I picked up, which I actually saw quite a few people talk about, I've been looking for a nice round mirror for the wall. Originally I wanted a black one, um, but I am kind of like with the lamp and a few other accents in my room, I'm going for like a more gold kind of creamy beige theme. So black would have been fine. Um, but they were about 40, 50 pounds online and I was like, am I really going to be paying that much money? Was then I saw someone said in B&M they had um, a round mirror. So I went to have a look and it's a really nice kind of rustic coppery gold colour actually. And this mirror was only 14 pounds. Um, it's only here back for now because I've got two of these in the wall from where I had a long mirror before. So I do need to take these out of the wall. I'm also taking these shelves down because I just don't know why I would have had that. Like, they just look so ugly. And then in regards to this corner, I think I was on about getting, like, a little bedside table and, like, a big plant to go in the, the corner. So, see when my bed comes over a little bit, I'm not going to have too much space here. Like, this, this could fit there, but I, I don't know. I just want it against here because I want a little bedside table. I've also ordered the smaller IKEA desktop, so then... Don't know whether I'll be able to sell, but obviously I wanted to sell this top and this because I don't want it anymore. There's just nothing of any use in those drawers and it's just a little bit too long now. So the new desktop will come to about here. I look forward to updating you guys soon. So today is Sunday the 7th of June. I thought I would do a little update just because I have bought a couple of little bits and bobs recently that... I think are worth mentioning because I'm gonna start changing oh how's that falling down um I'm gonna start changing this wall now so the new brackets for the one shelf the gold kind of Victorian style ones I've ordered are hopefully arriving tomorrow um because it did say between Thursday and Monday and they haven't turned up yet so hoping they'll arrive tomorrow um so I'm gonna take all of these shelves down take all the nails out of the wall and fill all of the holes back in. I'm going to paint that wall again tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to take all of these nails out. And then I've got a couple of little bits that I picked up from B&M and The Range today. I picked up one of these, which is a over-the-door hanger. Because the one that I have now was like one that came with the house. But obviously I can't really hang too much stuff on it. Um, and it's not the most ideal thing. So I'm going to unscrew those from there and pop this one up instead that should be nicer so yeah that was from B&M that was 4 .99, so five pounds and I just liked the little jewel things on them I thought it was just a little bit nicer than that <laughs> and then from the range which me and Jack saw last time that we went um, but they didn't actually have any in stock is this chandelier pendant but what I'm a little bit worried about is how low it is actually going to come down so I don't know whether I'm going to need to get one of my friends who are electricians to actually shorten the wire just a tiny bit because I think it's going to come down maybe a little bit further not really that important but I picked up some pillows from B&M as well because mine are just going a little bit flat they were like a couple of quid from Primark um, but these ones are a bit more squishy memory foam ones so I'm going to change my bedding after as well Took me a little while and had to get my mum's help, but it is up. And now I've noticed that this, I don't know if you can really see, the thing is quite like off coloured and yellowy. Um, so now I need to get a new wire and thingy so it's nice and fresh white because it's really throwing me off that it looks really discoloured compared to the light and the ceiling before because that's slightly yellow. It wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, it looks actually quite nice. 
budget in tune as well as I thought. But now my wall looks like that. Let me show you a little bit closer. This was where I had a mirror hung up here um, when I had my shells. I've also discovered apparently we already oh shit, had holes in the wall. Um, and I have more holes. So I'm going to have to fill all of this in and sand it down. And then paint over it. So I don't know how to get these out. I'm going to have to go get my mum. I don't really know whether you put them through or you dig them out. And then that one. But you can see obviously where I've painted around the thing previously. So it's the next day. And after we... <laughs> Filled in all of the holes yesterday, I went to go and see if it was dry and poked some of it through. So we had to go over and fill some more, um, left it to dry overnight and now I've just sanded it all down so it's not, it's kind of taken a little bit of the paint off some bits but all of the holes are like smoothed down so it'll be fine with some paint. So that is what I'm about to do now, I'm about to go over with a coat of paint just to get it nice and fresh. I'm hoping it doesn't look too discolored from the rest of the walls. I'm gonna crack on with some painting. Excuse me. And I will just check in with you in a bit. So I finished doing, I think it was two. Yeah, I did two whole coats of the wall, cutting all around the edges. Um, the wall's been really, really weird. It had like some air bubbles and some bits were flaky, but from like where I'm stood, literally doesn't look like there's any thing on it but obviously where we have filled and it was flaking a little bit when you go up close you can kind of see but it doesn't bother me too much because i'm going to be putting stuff back up on the wall eventually and actually i've just listed my chest of drawers on facebook marketplace and literally 10 minutes later um someone messaged me asking to collect tomorrow so i need to empty the one last drawer of clothes that is supposed to be stuff that's going under my bed um, and today is actually, it's been a month since I ordered my bed um, and obviously the normal delivery on the website where I got it from says four to six weeks so depending because I know they were really really behind obviously they stopped delivering beds and blah 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 so I'm hoping that maybe I'll have an update in the next two weeks as to like an estimated whether it's like another two weeks after that but obviously there is some stuff that I'm kind of waiting to be able to put under my bed to make more room other places in my room like my wardrobes and my cupboards and stuff all my big coats and whatnot need to be flat packed vacuum packed not flat packed vacuum packed hopefully I'll be ordering a bedside table this week I'm still on the hunt for like the right one but I've also ordered a gold and glass tray to sit on top of here to have all of my perfumes in when it's against the wall which will be really cool and obviously I'm still waiting for my gold shelf brackets to pop a shelf back up on the wall and then pop the mirror up. I am world's worst vlogger it is now well I literally think I filmed yesterday the day before it's the 10th of June it's a Wednesday and I have just taken apart the desk this was at the top of the desk so We've just got my drawers, I've pulled that out and I've gone around the skirting boards and hoovered and stuff. So see we've got this area now and my smaller desktop is literally like the same thing but just a bit smaller. Yeah I'm gonna unbox this and stick the legs on it and we'll see how this goes. Why is this so difficult? Like, can I use a drill? So this is now what we are working with. Still plenty of room, obviously, for the chair to go under and for me to sit at. Um, and yeah, it just looks a little bit nicer. Obviously my ring light kind of throws it off and I don't really know what I want to do with this space. I do want to get a nice chair, something a bit comfortable because that's just a cheap one. The only thing I'm waiting for now is my bedside table to arrive tomorrow um, to find a fake plant 
need to put the mirror up on the wall and I'm still waiting on those brass brackets but hopefully they should be with me in a few days if not then they said that they would resend them or refund me to put the shelf up but yeah that is what we are looking like at the moment oh and I still need to find some more pillows for in front of these ones look what arrived again I am the worst vlogger in the world but this took me literally five minutes to put together with a couple of screws but I'm really really happy with it um I've just popped like a little plant that was on my windowsill in there for now obviously I do want like a bit of a taller bigger one but yeah this is my bedside table I am very very happy I just cannot wait for my bed to arrive so obviously then I'll have the big white headboard here and then maybe I can put some nice prints. I put a photo up on my Instagram stories just now and loads of people have been saying oh I love it where's it from um yeah so obviously everything in this vlog and this transformation will be linked in the description below if you are interested in anything I have gotten so far. Hi guys so super random oh that's a little bit of a weird light but today is actually the 18th of August um me and my mum have actually just dismantled my old bed. You can come in, it's fine. Um, oh actually, will you just get the hoover and then I'll plug it in by here, please. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I actually filmed anything for this video that I didn't think was going to take this long to finish. But my bed was supposed to be delivered on the 13th and then it got delayed until the 20th. So it's actually coming in two days and they've confirmed it. Um, they've given me a call and I should get a text um in two days so obviously today's tuesday we've just dismantled my bed because someone is coming to pick it up in the morning so i'm just going to show you what my room looks like now but <laughs> this is obviously where my bed was there was a radiator behind my bed um a really silly place for a radiator actually but yeah that's kind of where my bed's going to stay for now obviously we've propped my mattress up morning my bed is coming today so today is Thursday the 20th of August um, it's currently about quarter to nine I'm actually in work today I start at 10 so I need to leave in um, just under an hour but I am currently emptying my room as much as possible my mum's gonna come and help me with my chest of drawers and my mattress but I've just dumped pretty much all the mess I had in here on my mum's bed for now and I'll sort it all out when I come back from work this evening. So this is what it's looking like right now. Looks very, very empty. So this needs to go, that needs to go, mattress needs to go, that and my mirror. I'm gonna keep that there because it's very, very heavy and I mean, that's kind of out of the way. And obviously I'm just gonna leave my desk by here, but yeah, I need to move this. This honestly looks very crazy, so literally everything so that is just going to stay there because obviously they're building the bed here they have plenty of uh, floor space again like i said i've left that there because it's just so heavy and a nightmare to move um but they yeah they've got plenty of space why is there a mark i can't see that in person what is that oh, i don't know i wanted to put laminate flooring in here but i really can't be asked for the hassle into like Spend money, obviously, this is what I've got there, hey, kept everything on the back of my door for now, just chilling up there, so obviously they're going to build the bed central to the room. I'm going to head off to work in about 20 minutes, oh my god it's so echoey in here, that is so weird, um, yeah I'm going to head off to work in about 20 minutes, um, my mum's going to be home all day for them to come in and build the bed, which is kind of like a shame because I can't really... I don't know, show you guys and obviously social distancing, they've got to be in here on their own, we can't be in the room with them. Um, but of course when I finish work at five, I'm going to come straight home and show you guys and then I'm just going to give it all a once over, like I've hoovered everywhere. I think I just need to give everything a polish before I bring the rest of my furniture back in this evening. And then I'll give you like an all over and we will conclude this video. Hello again everyone, so I am... Um, back from work literally five minutes ago I walked in the door 
um, and the bed turned up about half 11 this morning I think and the guys came in put it together my mum said like they were really really quick obviously they know what they're doing um, just gave her a little bit of info about the bed um, obviously my mum has been working at home today so she's not like moved any of my stuff it's still all piled in her bedroom so nothing's back in but the bed is in here so I thought I would just show it to you literally as they've left it because we haven't actually pulled the ottoman down yet he said that two of you will need to pull it down for now and the weight of the mattress will help to bring it down because it's quite like a strong um is it like a gas lift or a piston something so this is how the bed has been left in the middle so this is the ottoman storage this i will link everything obviously that i've talked about throughout this video as much as i can and list it but this is from the luxury bed company and i'm pretty sure this is the vienna ottoman this is a double and this is just the um ottoman storage so you know there's quite a a bit of storage in there i'm gonna be able to keep quite a lot of stuff i'm very very excited um, and then obviously it's just all kind of patched up underneath here and then this is the gorgeous headboard that I'm very excited about I got it in a soft velvet white I think this is so it's like a very slight off-white it's not quite cream but it's not pure white it's like an ivory off-white um, which I think is beautiful and yeah it's like a soft velvet colour so this is obviously just what the there's like card not cardboard <laughs> um wooden things and obviously your mattress goes on top and evens it out but that's what it looks like obviously there is a gap here um but the mattress should come to probably about here and then my pillows will cover that little bit of a gap but yeah the detail on this is so pretty so this is what my bed now looks like it is a lot bigger and higher so it kind of looks like it takes up more room um but i really really like it i think it looks gorgeous um and i've gone around and just tidied my room put everything back where it was so obviously i've got like my dyson hairdryer and air wrap my chest of drawers with my mirror all of my perfumes i've got my shelf there i've got my bedside table and my lamp these are two new cushions I picked up as well. I know I showed you guys these ones which are from Ikea. I picked up these ones which came as a full cushion. These are from Denelm and I think they were about £14 each. I've oh, I'm going to knock stuff over. I've just draped this cream um, throw on there for now. I think I'm going to get like a faux fur um, throw to go there. Obviously I've cleared everything out. There used to be bags of stuff here. So this is just all of my makeup. Underneath the bed I've put quite a lot of stuff already but... This is what it looks like. I am so happy. much done it's not perfect i'm probably going to tweak things all the time and obviously when i eventually move out i'm going to take all my stuff with me and probably like rearrange it in whatever bedroom i have after months and months and months of buying little bits and bobs deciding to move it all around buying a new bed it is done and i am really happy with the way that it has turned out at the moment i'm so excited to sleep in this bed and just stare at it if you did enjoy this video please smash that thumbs up button it would mean the absolute world to me and i know this video has probably been really long but if you made it to the end well done i will link everything that i can that i've talked about that i have in my room or maybe that i had before in the description if you have any comments just leave them down below i will get back to you make sure you're subscribed before you leave and yeah i will see you next time bye